Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 3, SimCell slash Generations, whatever you want to call it. I'm glad you all were so accepting and receiving of this Let's Play. Everybody seemed to enjoy the first part, so that makes me happy. I'm enjoying it. Um, so yeah, in the last part, if you haven't watched it, it was part one, so make sure you check it out. Basically, this is going to be a sim self slash generations to see how many generations I can have in the sims um, with me, obviously, duh, sim self, and my boyfriend, Todd, and our dog, Chloe. Um, yeah, so the last part, we got engaged, <laughs> which was a very beautiful moment in Carissa's life. She's been planning this. I mean, okay, how do you plan your own engagement? I don't know, but like she's been dreaming, I guess you would say, of this for a long time, and it finally happened. So... It is the next morning, and Todd just left for work, but Chris is just doing her little, you know, soon-to-be wifey duties, and she is cleaning up around the house, making sure everything's spick and span. We're going to put away these pancakes she slaved over this morning. That way, we don't have to get up and cook in the morning. So, on the agenda today, I really want to just kind of get out on town make some friends because it occurred to me that in the sims 3 which you know i forget sometimes that we can have bachelor and bachelorette parties which means before the wedding this coming weekend we're going to have to do some celebrating which i'm not really sure how i feel about todd sim todd <laughs> having strippers um so chris is a little bit psycho she might pop up and be like oh, what the hell is going on here but yeah i don't know i think that'd be fun but you know what it's gonna be no fun when you have no friends so in the last part uh carissa went to the little park and she met a few people not very many and um todd doesn't know really anybody either i kind of want him to chat with co-workers uh and i tell you what this Haley shepherd trick <laughs> Carissa checked the mail off camera, okay? And she, freaking Todd had a letter from his boss. She wants him to make her dreams come true. I think Carissa needs to speak with Haley Shepard, so I think that's something else we're going to do today. I'm sure Haley is at work just trying to, you know, get all over our man. But real quick, why don't we just find out where she lives? Because I think Carissa's going to pay her a visit. Because Carissa checked the mail. And uh, she didn't like that too much. So I want to say the Shepard's... I don't, I don't remember where she lives. I remember that name, um, obviously, as a townie. Okay, that's the Miller family. But I cannot remember where they live. Fox family. Um, like, is she married? Is she, like, a homewrecker? What's the deal? I'm not sure. But I can tell you right now, I really don't appreciate her, you know, messing with my man. Um, I don't know. Let me try to find out where she lives. I want to say she lives with, I, I, I want to say she's our neighbor. I want to say she lives, um, in this household, the Unfettered with Feathers household. I really do think that's where she lives, which is even better because it won't be a psycho us just going over and being like, excuse me, you need to stop. <laughs> sending love letters to my uh, soon-to-be husband, my fiancé, um, we can just say hi, you know? We're friends, right? We're neighbors, so hi, I'm Carissa, and I don't appreciate you at all, so back off. <laughs> so that's our agenda today. As soon as Miss Haley Shepard gets home, Carissa's gonna go pay her a visit, but until then... I mean, is there anybody at the dog park? I mean, I guess we could maybe take Chloe to the dog park. Um, I'm not seeing anybody. I hate how empty The Sims 3 world is. <laughs> it's quite annoying. I don't want to go. I know usually, I think most people generate at this little summer festival thing. But we did that in the last part. Um, see, we already have... Oh, wait. She works here. Um, I don't know. We've already... See, there's still nobody here. But I think maybe if we just show up there, people will, people will show up, right? So... I don't know. I guess we could go, like, swimming, or we can just go to the dog park. It's not very far, so I guess we can go here with Chloe. All right, so we've arrived at the dog park, and I grabbed this little hot dog toy, and I put it in her inventory because she really has low destruction right now, so I'm going to have her play with that. And I guess I'm just going to hang around and see if anybody's going to show up. Da-da-da-da. Who is this? Johnny Johnson. Okay. 
where we're going to introduce ourselves to pretty much anybody that comes around because we need friends. Todd needs friends. Um, so what is what are we going to watch? A lizard? Ooh, Carissa does not like lizards. No, I don't. All right, let's um. Yo, Johnny, friendly introduction. Okay, I love how I'm in the bushes picking up lizards, which is something that would never, ever happen in real life. Like, ever. So, anyways, let's introduce ourselves to Johnny and tell him that we are new around town. Um, and, yeah, we met her. We met Jackie. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Let's greet her. We met her the other day. But we can greet her again because we are generally kind of focusing on female friends um because we have a bachelorette party we're trying to plan oh my gosh it's the same people that I already know we've already met jaslyn parrot um oh my gosh we can like okay keep your friends close but your enemies closer right so i think like later we're gonna like kind of pretend to be friend Haley. <laughs> I know. I, this is not something that I would do in real life. I'm not like that. Honestly, if somebody was to, like, come to my man and, well, not come to him, but, like, you know, send him love letters and evidently really likes them, um, I would be kind of pissed off about it. There would be no, uh, being friendly. I just would I don't, I, I can't hide dislike. I'm, I'm one of those people that I will be nice. I'm not going to go out of my way to be mean to somebody, but if I'm not fond of you, I think you're disrespectful and you just, you're just not my, my cup of tea. I just kind of don't talk to you, you know? I mean, it kind of just shows all over my face. I'm not going to be fake. I know it's like, no, you got to be mature, but I mean, it is mature. I'm, I'm not going to tell you how I really feel, but Sim Carissa, she's a bigger person. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we are going to befriend her and quote unquote befriend. Um, but, okay, we have Barrington Diamond here. Okay, so we're probably just going to have to, like, invite some of these people over or something. Because, like, Todd is at work and he hasn't met, like, any males. He has to have a bachelorette party. Or not bachelorette, bachelor party. Um, so, yeah, we're just we're going to have to work with it. But, you know, we're just kind of, like, telling all these dudes we're meeting about our husband. Our, oh, my gosh, she's not my husband yet. <laughs> I'm getting so far ahead of myself. Our fiancé and how, you know, we're going to have a really cool party. And you know what? He would love for you to come. He's never met you, but I'm telling you, he'd love it. <laughs> Chloe, what are you doing, honey? Okay, so she's just playing, having a blast. Cute. Um, Todd is at work. Oh, he's doing business as usual. I really want you to chat with coworkers. What we're not going to do is boss's paperwork. <laughs> we're going to stay away from her. I think Todd knows <laughs> that if he uh, gives Miss Haley any wrong ideas, Carissa will have his ass. <laughs> Anyways, all right, Barrington, it was very nice to meet you, but this place is a little bit boring. So what I think I'm going to do is have Carissa and Chloe go back home because Todd will be off shortly in a few hours. So we're going to have Carissa go home and... Um, you know, just hang out around the house, maybe work on her cooking skill and some of her skills um, that will benefit her, you know, as a wifey one day. And uh, wait on Todd to get home, wait on Haley Shepard to get home, and then we're just going to go next door and, and greet her. All right, so Todd just got home from work, so we're going to have him come sit down next to Carissa. This is still so weird, me talking about my sim selves like this. And uh, wait, no, I want you to sit down with her. No, no, not nap. No, sit. I changed his work outfit too, by the way, because it was a little bit weird. But let's cuddle on the sofa. Ask her how her day's been. She's like, oh, you know. <laughs> Me and Chloe went to the park. You know, made some friends. Invited them to your bachelor party. And you know what? I was honestly just really thinking, babe, that we should go and meet our neighbors, you know, don't, don't you work with the one, you know, isn't she your boss? Doesn't she live next door? And he's like, uh, yeah, I, th I think she does. But unfortunately, she's not home yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you know what? We're just going to keep an eye out on them. They've got to come home eventually, which I'm, I'm pretty sure she lives there. Uh, and that's why it's kind of like lighting up. Because like, if you know somebody, right? Yeah. Also, when Carissa was reading the newspaper, I found out that some celebrities are going to be at the tavern here, which is interesting. Kind of low-key gets me pumped up for uh, Get Famous, coming in The Sims 4. 
Um, but let's see if anybody's here right now. We have Benny Hennessy. Oh my gosh, so we can come hang out here. It looks like there's some friends to be made. But for now, I'm waiting on Miss Haley <laughs> to get home. But until Haley gets home, we're just going to have Carissa come over here and serve some goopy carbonara. And because they're getting a little bit hungry. And I'm also feeling a little bit germy, which is accurate because in real life, my sinuses have been all jacked up. I sneeze like 12 times in a row, like 10 times a day. It's pretty awful. Uh, okay, I think Haley knows she needs to avoid <laughs> She needs to avoid us. Uh, maybe Todd told her at work, uh, you know, uh, my fiance actually got the letter you wrote me and she's not happy about it. <laughs> so I think she knows. She probably already knows. When she knows, she don't, she's going to find out. <laughs> Carissa don't play. <laughs> so weird. Oh my God. All right, so we are eating and then we're going to put the leftovers away. Let's make sure Chloe's good. Did she just pee on herself? Oh my gosh, you should be scared because I'm about to beat you, dog. Why did you pee on yourself? Skittish about full moon. Oh, it's a full moon tonight? Next full... Oh, tomorrow's a full moon. Okay, so that'll be interesting. I guess she already has like a, a, a sixth sense or something to where she can, uh, as a dog, detect that, which is really creepy. Um, maybe we can do something spooky on the full moon night. I mean, it's not really fall time, it's summertime, but... In honor of it being almost Halloween. Or actually, is it Halloween week? Pretty much. Oh my gosh, they were home, but now they're not. Instead of, you know, waiting on her to get home. Because evidently, she's avoiding the situation. We're going to invite the whole household over. <laughs> and because we do cook a little bit extra. So, why not? You know, it was Carissa's idea. She's like, Todd, just invite them over. You know, let's not wait. You know, that they might be... You know, busy, they might all not be, oh, sorry, now's not a good time for us. Of course it's not. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to hunting you down. Like, I'm really not. <laughs> I am psycho. Um, let's see. Let's check on their needs. Okay, I mean, it's 7 o'clock. We're doing pretty good. Let's have her clean that up and then use the restroom. And then I guess, oh, since nobody's home... And they don't want to come over, which is a bunch of bull crap. Maybe we'll come here. Because apparently it's like the hot spot tonight. So maybe they'll show up there. But rest assured, we're not going to let it slide. Chris is, she's not going to just like forget that, that Haley sent Todd a, a love letter. And psh, no, we're just going to hope that we run into her, you know, in town. If not, I mean, there's always tomorrow, you know. She just better watch out. That's all I got to say. But, um, let's see. This place should be popping. So, if anything, we can make some friends to invite to our party. And this would be a fun spot to have our bachelor and bachelorette parties, if you ask me. Okay, um. <laughs> oh, my gosh. As fate would have it. Oh, my goodness. Look who is here. <laughs> She thought, she thought, you can run, but you can't hide, honey. This place is hotter than Hank Goddard that one time he caught on fire. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Do you have to, like, bribe them to get in? No, we can just walk in. Okay, well, you know what? Friendly introduction. Mm, we're going to be the bigger person. Let's just come over here and introduce ourselves. And Todd's looking at me like, mm, looking at her, looking at me like, mm, mm. Here she goes. <laughs> um, hi, Haley. Shepherd, right? Um, my name is Carissa, and, uh, you know, I am, you know, the fiancé of Todd, you know, your employee. That was a cute letter you wrote him in the mail. And she's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, and we're going to confess our attraction for Todd, you know? He's, he's something, isn't he? You know, you're very lucky that he works for you. He's... He's such a big blessing in my life, and I'm just so in love with him, and he's so in love with me. 
But, you know what, girlfriend? I think we can be friends. I think we can look past this. Well, so Thu's about her wedding. Just kind of, like, rub it in her face. She did not like that at all. She hates us. She's like, really? Um, but, you know, we're like, yeah, we're gonna have a great wedding. It's gonna be awesome. And, you know what? I think that me and you can be friends. I think we can make this work. You know, he, you're his boss. I think it'd be awesome if you came to my bachelorette party and then, like, maybe do the wedding. You know, whatever. What's your boat? What is Todd doing? Is Todd being the bartender? <laughs> I mean, we're technically on a date. There's nobody here. It said this place was going to be like a hot spot, but there's nobody here at all. We have Kenjai up here. Let's come up here and meet him because we do want Todd to make some friends. Oh my gosh, a little smack -a -nom game. That is so cute. Um, yeah, we're just over here. Like I said, we're just being the bigger person. Um, She's over it. <laughs> she already knows what we're up to. I'm going to come over here and play smack and gnome. Why are there little puppies randomly running around? Because I really want one in real life. Todd's been really asking me. You're not asking me. <laughs> talking to me about one day getting Chloe a little sister. So we're going to have to do that, you know, in the sim game too. But for now... We're just gonna, we're gonna focus on little Chloe and like the wedding and everything. And then of course we're gonna start having some babies soon. Um, we're just kind of playing this little smack and home game. I mean, can we like come over here and, um, we can have a private wedding. Let's give him a, give him a kiss and let's low key hope that Haley's about to witness this. <laughs> just kind of marking our territory. What is this? Like freaking dog hangout or something why are the dogs coming to the freaking bar there's more dogs here than humans which is a little bit concerning but you know oh my gosh it's so laggy it's so laggy Krista wheeler scored three thousand points playing smack a gnome awesome okay well you know what todd i'd like to give you a little kiss baby so let's come over here and give him a little kiss and then i want to introduce myself to kenjai as well and todd you did that right yes we know kenjai i just want to make sure you know that we have some meals that we can like eventually be friends we don't have to like you know take it real fast or anything but just to invite to the bachelor party so i'm assuming that our wedding will be on a saturday so we have like Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the next two parts that have our bachelor and bachelorette parties. I know Todd's not, okay, so I have to say, I know he's, he knows better. He's not over there talking to her, is he? Okay, yeah, keep your distance if you know what's best for you. Y'all, I'm a psycho, I'm a psycho. <laughs> I'm not psycho, okay, I'm, and I'm not a jealous. I have no reason to be jealous, you know. <laughs> He did propose to me after all, but I'm territorial, you know, what's mine is mine, and I don't appreciate disrespectful hookers named Haley Shepard that thinks she's because she's a doctor, she's entitled, and everybody wants her because she's smart and has money. Well, you know what? <laughs> Haley, you're not a threat, but I find you very disrespectful, so you know what? I I'm not done with you. I'm not done. We're not done. I really have got to make this work. We've got to be friends. I got to keep you close. And I'm going to be mature. So let's just come over here and talk to her a little bit more. Get to know her, you know. She's actually very pretty, but. Oh, she's talking about babies. She's asking us. I mean, if there are kids in the future? And I'm like, definitely. Two or three. <laughs> um, I don't know. You know what? Maybe. Maybe we can get past this, you know? Honestly, I don't want to be like that. I mean, I, I don't want to be psycho. I, I want to make friends um, because I need friends. And aside from the fact that she is in love with Todd, I, we could really make this work. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, <laughs> all right. It looks like Todd is sleepy and so am I. So let's say goodbye and go back home and go to sleep oh my god it's like midnight and this place is supposed to be popping and it's definitely not they lied to us wait who is this showing up of course everybody's going to show up as we're leaving who is this um gerpal okay he's paparazzi okay so the paparazzi pap paparazzi i can't talk the paparazzi is showing up that means somebody's famous is around i thought that's how it works todd go home carissa are you leaving too okay Haley, are you in my way? Are you the reason I can't go home? Are you fo are you following him? Oh hell no! Oh hell no! 
Okay, no, she was just going home too, which is fine. Okay, <laughs> all is well. But anyways, let's have them come in here and just go to sleep. It was like Chloe's been sleeping. Um, well, you know what? Let's just not go to sleep. Let's just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How do you do this? How do you, I don't even remember. How do you woohoo in The Sims 3? Don't you have to like, do you have to ask them like this to woohoo? Or do you? I don't know. Oh, you have to relax first. That's how it works, right? Relax. Okay. Which is going to be really funny looking because of this custom content bed. It's, I, I was laughing at them off camera when they were sleeping. It was like all up under the covers. Because they kind of, you know, see the bed technically not even made up. But it's so pretty. I don't want to delete it. I think it looks really nice. And I also got rid of Chloe's dog bed because she, she likes to sleep on this little bench down here, which is fine. Okay, let's just ignore the fact that we're really tired and that the pillows are going through us. And can we, um, woohoo? Well, let's not try for our baby yet. Let's let's get through the wedding first. But bomb chicka wow wow, let's get it on. Oh my gosh, this is so inappropriate. It's so weird watching myself himself <laughs> and Todd do it. Oh my god. <laughs> scandalous anyways y'all i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up here um yeah i think it was pretty successful carissa you know made her rounds around town met some people you know she's planning the bachelor and bachelorette party and she went a little psycho on Haley. but you know what <laughs> Like I said, keep your friends close and your enemies closer, which I think is hilarious. Uh, but anyways, y'all, I think, like I said, oh my gosh, why do I always repeat myself? Why do I do this? Why am I so awkward? Anyways, I'm going to go now. <laughs> so if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Any suggestions, anything you want to see, any tips, tricks that I probably don't remember from The Sims 3, anything towards a bachelor, bachelorette, and wedding to help me have the best of the best, comment down below, subscribe if you have not, and with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Bye!